All right, so here we are going to try our knitting. And you'll have to bear with me. I am not a vlogger. I'm a writer and a blogger. I can put things down on paper and I don't have to worry about focus. Focus! It's trying to focus on the frogs. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so we have our six stitches that we started out with. This is our short tail. You do not want to knit with your short tail. You'll be sorely disappointed when you run out of thread. So here's our long tail. And again, I like to hold it and tuck it between these fingers because it just keeps the tension for me, um, keeps it from flopping around. I know exactly where it is. And then I just wrap it around my index, my pointer finger. So, I hold my little, this is going to be the hardest part, honestly, is trying to get that first knit stitch off your cast on row, but we're going to do it. So, when you're knitting, you go in through the front, and you just push through, and you go right through that loop. Oh, it focused beautifully. You go right through that loop. Okay, so you push through and you just want to, what I'm doing is I am forcing the thread into. Um, way back when I used to toss my yarn. Gosh, I can't do it anymore. But I would toss it around my needle and that way I could take the needle and push it back through the hole and I've got a brand new loop. So you can toss it, which I think is the European method, or the I think this is the continental method. I'm, I don't care. I'm not trying to be specific here. It doesn't matter how you do it as long as it's comfortable for you. I learned to do it like this because there's way less arm movement. Um, it keeps everything neat and tidy, and it's a lot like crocheting. Um, so in this method, I bring the needle around, and I just push the yarn back through. It's very similar. It's just coming in from a different, ending up in a different direction, I should say. So you go through, take that yarn, drag it right through. Um, I tend to get bruise on my finger because I just dig the needle into my finger and drag the yarn with me, but I'm okay with it. It's self-love. So now you can see it's gotten a little bit taller. We now have two rows. We've got a bump here and a bump here. Those are our rows. And that is knitting. So again, you're just going to push it through, right through your loop. You're going to snag the thread and just drag that back with you. And you're going to do that again. And again. All the way across. This is your basic knit stitch. And what you're achieving with a knit stitch is no matter what side you look at, you will see the little corn rows, if you will, just little bump rows. So a knit stitch is just going to give you that bit of texture. You're going to see each row um, kind of like crochet too. So there you have it. We'll do a couple more so you can see it <clears throat> more defined. These are itty bitty needles, but it works. That's what I had on hand. So I'm just turning my piece over, keeping my thread in the back because I need it there for when I drag it back through. Keeps it in position. Keeping tension on the yarn. 
This way I can kind of pick up a nice pace. My hands know what they're doing. <gasps> Maybe your hands don't know what you're doing. You just dropped all your stitches. <gasps> well, don't pull on anything. Don't do that. Just slide it back through. Well, go into the back. Pick up all your little stitches. Don't panic. Don't pull on anything. There. All better. And that's how you fix sliding your needle out. Boom. <gasps> oh, nope, we're okay. We're okay. Okay, I'm done.